fish, uh, fish, and the bare naked ladies, and, uh, and and Dave Matthews, and and, and people in, in that band sell a shit ton of records. They 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 and, and their concerts are always packed, and and, and and people go to see them in droves, and they don't have anything to to put on the radio. No yeah, radio. It's like hits. we were talking about the other night. Yeah, I do. they had like imagine, that one hit back in the nineties, and that's come about from that. Somewhere I literally sit around. I, I I talk to people who like are in the industry or around, and I have these ideas, and, and we shoot the shit, and that's how it it. This is right. This is how this is how it happens. It's like behind the curtain, man. Um, <laughs> no, it, yeah, they, it they they don't have that. They they don't sell records or, or singles, and people steal their stuff. Like you know, people download Dave Matthews concert, or he gives it away for free, or bare naked ladies sell their own bootlegs. Like I saw them in Orlando, and for five dollars, I bought the concert in the audio format that I downloaded. Um, so they, they've got people not paying for their music, uh, and and yet they're making money because their fans are loyal. Oh, it's all ticket sales. Th- they're now. buying T-shirts. They're, they're 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 buying tickets. It's a revenue stream that it, it, it's it's all its own. Like you don't you don't want to take a square peg and make it fit into a round hole. You want to you want to make sure that you know the size of the hole and find the appropriate plug and then get paid for plugging the hole. That is also sexual. Yes. <laughs> Talking about the music business people. Are you? Um, maybe. We know the big music can do top 40. You if you're top 40, if if if, if you're Katy Perry, if you're Sean Kingston, you've got you've got that Go to big music. If you're Lady Gaga, there's no other spot to go but to big music to, to push your stuff. I mean, if I were running a business like they're doing, and I see something that I'm not selling that people want, i.e. if I'm selling cocaine and everybody wants crack, and I'm just a pure businessman with no morals at all, I would look and say, well, hmm. crack. Yeah. Just start giving the you crack You, sir, out. are a smart man. Why not? Why not have an indie division? Why not put the the, the people that they let all their A and R guys go, who were perfect at relating to artists, which is exactly the hand holding type that you need for your true alternative for those indie artists. You don't need someone molding them, telling them you're not, but you do need like some hand holding. And what you would get slightly different focus, a little different different end game. But you take a, a product you're not going to put on the radio, uh, but you definitely want to make money from. And you can use that big music connections for gigs, for promotion, but it's a different animal. You go about it in a different way. You have different people running it. You know, you might have your corporate people going, yeah, this is Lady Gaga and and isn't, you know, it's a meat suit and there and here's a single and there's this many downloads. And then on the other hand, you've got, here's Rebels with the Swamp. We're, you know, we're still taking our, uh, our, our large percentage of them. But and they're they're not selling. Uh, they're not going to put them in stadiums. You're never going to hear them on the radio. But, uh, they will steadily tour, sell their albums. They've got a great web presence. We've got them playing at several festivals, which you never would have had happen unless you bought, begged, and then gave somebody uh, something intimate in exchange. Peg in a hole. Peg in a hole. From your own selves. Right. It's like you'd have to perform the shake weight on an executive to get some of those things. But right. uh, in the alternative. Uh, if there was an indie division, then you could actually have you know, that that revenue stream. You, the the people that are running indie labels, God bless their hearts for for putting. And I've seen so many people, you know, have their own label and they just pour right. mu- uh, so much of their of, of their own money and calling on the phone trying to get their bands booked and 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 sell and distribute. And it still falls back on the band which then prohibits you from being as creative and writing as much as you'd like to because you're busy doing all of the administrative stuff that comes along with it that you absolutely have to do and the last right. thing on your list unfortunately is write something someone will like to listen to we're musicians and artists what the hell are we doing trying to handle the business aspect of running a band we had no business doing that you know <laughs> it, it, made it us really fall helps apart. To, like to have a team even if it's your friend, you you know you assign different st- stuff with it. With indie divisions, you can take that because you, you'd be getting a lot of exposure. You'd be selling a lot of stuff. You're still getting uh, butt raped uh, enough to to let you know you've made that deal with the devil. But then again, now you, you're in the music you, business. You're you're in the music, but there's a spot for you where there wasn't before. I'm 
of the whole, there's enough room for everybody because I like to get warm and fuzzy. Mostly when I drink scotch. Scotch, scotch, scotch. Dumb. <laughs>